cancer uh, research and, and center in, in Milford. Uh -huh. And that's when Dr. Coco was created. Oh. And uh, I enjoy doing it with the children. I give little, little, th little gifts to the little girls and boys. I know that has cancer, I know. No balloons because uh, sometimes synthetic, I know you have to watch the uh, latex in the uh, hospitals. Oh. Yeah. But uh, little boys had little septicals. I know they were doctors now and then their little girls were little nurses. I gave them little nurses outfits and everything oh. else. But I enjoy doing it. And then I did the uh, uh, the Winsocket Hospital one, which is the uh, Lion Inn now. now uh, and I done that the Lion one there. Inn? And, uh, That's where I was born. So was I. Okay. Really? Lion Inn? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So uh, I enjoy doing it. Yeah. You know and, uh, well, you do it very yeah. well. I mean, some of these uh, these uh, some of these animals that you've created are just like amazing. Like, look at this one. Look at this. What is that? This is an alien that? spaceship. <laughs> I, I, when I do my shows, I like to try to keep it to, for the, all the boys and girls. Uh huh. Okay. That and basically, fabulous. it's only boys and girls. Okay, a little boys and girls. Look at this one. And this is your Spider Man. Spider Man. Very, very. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> they like Spider Man. That's uh, one of my big ones there too. Yep. I then like I go this. I my one. Road Runner. Look at the Road Runner. Meet me. And that's the. Uh, I like to do the cartoon characters for the children. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then I uh, have the uh, monkey on the trees climbing up a tree after the bananas on this side over here. Oh, good. I thought that was you a know? monkey on a stick for a minute. <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> no, he's over there climbing up a tree. You know, he's climbing up a tree. That's one of my big, ca my big ones up at the yeah, restaurant. Yeah, I really like that one. I'm just I do that at a restaurant. Like <laughs> and then uh, I done, I done one time at a restaurant at, uh, and I had to do a show and. Uh, a, a man, a gentleman came over and he says, I know you only do balloons for the children, but can you do something, do me a favor and do something for my wife? Oh. And no, I said, well, it depends on what it is. And he says, well, she likes turtles. So I decided turtles. to make a big, big sea turtle, and so plus two little baby turtles that she can carry in her arm, oh. in her arm so she can uh, babysit while her mother turtle is going. For, <laughs> and he enjoyed that so much and everything else that he couldn't believe it. And then he wanted to give me money, but I refused the money unless he, made a, he did make out a beautiful check. Wow. The uh, tomorrow fund. Wow. You know, and I forgot how much it was, but it was a beautiful check and everything else. I would not collect no money doing a show. Wow. That's amazing, Bob, and that's that's quite. But uh, you know, uh, yes, it is. you know, you were talking earlier about Rhode Island. You know, and I like Rhode Island. I lived in Rhode Island all my life. It may be a small state, but I think it's, it has the biggest heart. It does. Everybody has a big heart out here. We're here to help out people. Mm -hmm. and that's it. Well, you're certainly a testament to that, Bob. You surely are. Uh, it's just incredible. You know, those, those, anybody who wants to contact Bob yep. can go to our website, which is www.aidfoundation.org. That's right. And they'll be able to get the link. Yeah. And they'll be able, yep. to, be able to get a hold of Bob. Or you can contact myself, Ron Paolino, or Poppy Champlin. Uh, you can contact us if you have a show or something in the making, or you have an idea. Yeah. Or if you'd like to be part of, a, part of our group, if you'd like to, if you'd like to come in uh, and help us uh, uh, do what we're doing, and that's trying oh, to get yes. back to the community. Oh, yes. Yep. Anything else going on, Bobo? What do we got in the future besides the pu pumpkin uh, fest? We have the, I have the uh, pumpkin fest, uh, and then I have uh, the uh, West, uh, West Creamery, Western Creamery up in uh, Oxbridge. That's right. And then the, uh, I know there's another one of my big, uh, found, uh, big uh, contribution is the Blackstone Valley Chamber of Commerce. They hire me a lot of shows, I know, for uh, Dean's Bank and, and the place like that, uh, you, and the uh, Old Navy, I've done shows for them, and hmm. and it's all through the Chamber of Commerce, and they give me a check for the, uh, oh, they send the checks directly to the Tomorrow Fund. The wow. Tomorrow Fund, and, and exactly and, uh, what does the Tomorrow Fund do again? The Tomorrow the Fund here is, and again, it's, it's right out of the uh, hospital here, the uh, Asbro Hospital, mm -hmm. and it's for children that cannot afford the treatment and the oh. money stays there. Does not go out the door and help another town or another, I mean another state or something. So right. the money stays here in Rhode Island. So, and it, they, do, they do a great job. Nobody is like we do. We don't get paid for, uh, for doing the, uh, doing the right. thing. Right, right. Just That's something, something that we help. It's like all to volunteer kind of work. Thing that we like to, it's 100% like to hear volunteer about. work. Something yep. to make sure our viewers know, are aware of and know that these things are out there. Yep. Not only to contribute to, but to take advantage of if you find yourself in need Unfortunately, if you find yourself in need of something like that, there is someone <laughs> there to help, and we're here for that same purpose. 
Yeah. Uh, Bobo, I, I can't tell you how great it's been having you here today. This is just amazing what you do with balloons. And so you, you actually can just uh, create take anything. anyone's, anyone's uh, suggestion. You just look at the picture and, yep. and all it of was a sudden one, you it can was come one up with a balloon. Back at the uh, Pumpkin Fest <laughs> about two years ago, no, last year, excuse me, last year, and Pumpkin Fest, a little boy had a line, and I mean, when I have a line, it's a long line. And oh. They stay there two, two and a half hours. And especially when a little one wow. comes over and she says, I want a dog, and the parent says, did you see the mermaid go by? Did you, <laughs> what do you want a dog for? I know, yeah. they, they see these uh, big balloons, and they want a little dog. Yeah. But they had a little boy came over to me and says, you, and I said, what do you want? He said, you can do anything. I said, give me an idea, and I'll make one. Yeah. He said, how about an Obama? Obama. Wow. <laughs> well, the Obama says, <laughs> I hate to say President it, Obama. I did yeah. not. But wow. now I can do an Obama. Now you can do it. I can do an Obama because you have to get the special balloons. I know the brown balloon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, mean, I have to, you know, but I do do the Obama. And any balloons can be created. Uh, I, do, I do hundreds and hundreds. And they're all wow. there. Did you have to go to school to learn to do this? No, I never went to school for this. I teach for a fact at the school. No at the clown eat? college. I wasn't aware of that. I, clown I, yep, I, do, I do at the clown college. Wow. And it's at the Plymouth Mass. And we meet once a year. And there's about an average of two. You only have to go to, to school once a year to clown college? You, well, yeah. It <laughs> takes 10 years to become a master clown. Oh. But they, they do it once a year. And the last uh, week of, Jan of January, the reason for that, a lot of the uh, schools, uh, schools are closed, you know, for the winter vacation. Yeah, yeah. So they, they, quite, they have a, a place there. And then there's about an average of about 300 clowns. Wow. And oh, out of it? those, there's Ringland Brothers, professional oh. clowns like myself, and the Shriners. Oh. Okay. The, the Shriners, Shriners, they are, are very, very clowns? good clowns. They do raise money for the, uh, I know, uh, for good charity, in there, and they do it for the uh, Jimmy Fund. And, uh, but uh, I teach the clown, I do that. And when I teach that about the clown, about the balloons, and a lot of them say that every time I buy, I do a balloon, it always keeps popping. Yeah. Yeah. But then the first thing I show them, I do one blindfolded, which is the uh, a little dog, which is a poodle. Yeah. And you only blow it halfway, but it uses all the balloons. And that's uh, how I learned uh, to teach them how you, to do yeah. it. Learning the balloons, my children the same way. They learn the balloons just by the character. My son, 17 years old now, he outdoes me. Now, what do you do about the cars? I know you all, you all, you clowns, you all have cars, and they're all little tiny cars. You make your own cars? Too, I have or? my, I have two clown cars. I have a circus wagon which is was built by myself. And then that one there, we, it's, it, it, I drive the little car in. Well, what kind of, how, how, what, is it the a little The little car, car only a, it, it, maybe as high as this table here. But is it, and, a, you build it yourself or? No, that one there, that was, uh, that was bought that way. And then but, you, know, you make your own body on it. You just buy the chassis and you do the body on it. But it's a real, how, how is it a car? It, it's, it, it drives like a car. Okay. It's, it's, you buy the chassis with the motor and everything else. There's a motor? Oh, yeah, like a motor. It's a Wisconsin in it? engine. That one's a Wisconsin engine. Huh. And then my son, which now he's, like I said, he's now 17 years old. He's six foot. So he can't fit oh. in that car no more. <laughs> so last year we bought, I bought a uh, Taylor, Taylor Dunn unit. It's all electric, six I battery operated. I was going to say, I wonder, you could, yeah. are you going green as a clown these days? <laughs> no, it's ten, no, we got that one, six battery. Oh, okay. And he loves it. We, but we use it in the parade. We use the boat clown cars in the parade. We use a circus wagon. And we create a new uh, trailer for when I do my shows. And they love when I go to do my shows. Now I bring my trailer that we built. Mm -hmm. And uh, instead of carrying the stuff in all my truck, which we uh -huh. have an old Suburban. And it's, a, it's an Astro, seven passenger. It's, in, it's only for clowning. It's all made for, only for clowns. It's set up as a clown. Uh huh. And I enjoy it. Whenever you see me coming down the road, they know here comes the clown. Why? Because <laughs> what does it look like? It's just like uh, uh, It's a suburban with the uh, big eyes in front of the uh, and the windshield. Big eyes big on nose. the windshield? Yeah, big nose. And a big the nose on the front. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I is enjoy it. Horn? Don't, don't tell you. Your horn is like. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, it's something like that. Uh -huh. Something like that. I enjoy doing it. You know, I, I, I know you'd be surprised on the highway, you, you even get the grown-ups. Maybe they have a miserable day that day. Yeah. All of a sudden, they see a clown on the road. All they want to do is take a picture of you. Right, right. And you're trying to go slow, watching where you're going. It, it, and it, is there cameras? And are there uh, phone cameras? I know look, taking Mom, a picture. Look, it's Bobo the Clown. You know? Look, it's Bobo the Clown. What? How many times you see a clown on the road? You don't see a clown that much. Him. No, especially in the little cars. No. That no, must be hard. You don't on see them anymore. You don't see that much, <laughs> and then. But we enjoy doing it, and my children enjoy doing it. I you bet. Know, Raymond, my oldest boy, I think he's going to go in that direction. 
to do uh, do clown stuff wow. on the side now. He's still going to go to college and everything else, but yeah. on the side he's going to be doing that. And then uh, my daughter loves to do face painting, so that helps me out. She doesn't look very little balloon, but she loves to do face uh -huh. painting. She's a very good p face painter. So then, did you say? Didn't you say like in the beginning that you thought that your your f first clown was kind of scary to you? That when you first painted your first clown face, my first pa my first time I painted my face, I, I I know I did the white here, yeah, but then I had all red over here. Uh huh. It was kind of scary. It's not like scary. It's like the uh, the it. dark night, like the like dark I show night. the it. Oh, you know? <laughs> you're right. Even the grin and uh, the, the dark night the dark was scary. You know, a lot of a lot of children, and when I'm doing a parade or I do shows or something, they're afraid of clowns. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Like, how? And how? Why? You know, a lot of them are also uh, afraid of characters. Uh -huh. A big Elmo coming in, yeah. or a big big bird coming in, sure. and all dressed up. Some are afraid yeah. of that. Yeah. We do sometimes. We do sometimes the, the shows with the Ringling Brothers. You do. And uh, if you know, the Ringling Brothers are down to one ring now. One ring for the Ringling Brothers? I had no idea. They're down to so one ring since uh, for about five years now. Huh. Oh. There's not that many children going to the circuses no more. Well, I was going to ask you that too. Like, how do you feel like clowns are actually in today's society with technology and the computers and the internet? And like, clowns are so hands on, and you got to be in front of a clown to get the clown. And, yeah. and, and do you feel like that the internet is sort of taking away from kids and clowning and you know sort of hands-on no nah, not that much they do take a lot out of you uh but i think what it is is mostly the children are somehow afraid of clowns i do a lot of shows for one year old and two year old i love to do that because the idea that's what keeps them because they're know, mesmerized they're not yeah they memorize and, and, and it's a i have a clown in front of them they're not afraid of it so they can grow up not being yeah, afraid of clowns yeah, yeah. okay don't forget god put us on this earth to make people happy. Exactly. And clowns are the ones that keep and keep people happy. Yeah, you're like the court jester. I am the court jester. <laughs> you know, I was a clown as a kid in school. I'm still a clown. Oh, you were? <laughs> you were clown? I was. Clown? I was always been a, 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 a happy go. go. Oh, see, it's you know? just so yeah. nice to be. And all my life, even when I could, if I got married, I was like that. And even when I got married, I was the same thing. They all want to be at my table because I had fun. That's great. That now, is so Hobo great. Hobo does kids parties and things like I that. I do. I do kids party. I do. I, I, I like I said when I go to a, a birthday party or something like that. I bring my uh, the man-made trailer that I made. Yeah. Uh -huh. It looks like a car, and it's it's all made out of wood. And then uh, the children love to get in because uh, it's a steering wheel and everything else, a big window and everything else. They enjoy getting into it. And but the only thing is when I when the people do call, I I ask for a check for making wish. I mean for the tomorrow fun. Yep. The balloons. Uh, well, gasoline they, they, balloons. They, 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 you know, it's it's balloons not the value of it. You know, it's not the value. The balloon is no value to me. Yeah. When but. I order balloons, I order a large quantity because this is a very small unit. And when I do a, a school, which I do all schools for nothing, I do daycares, which I'm booked for some daycares. And usually in May, June, they really book me every day during the week because uh, I don't know if it's a cost of living, a cost mm -hmm. of getting renting a bus now to go a day, uh, right. day trip. I go to the school. Well, when you were going to do your September fest in October, we're going to look for that, and that's the that September seventeenth. September seventeenth. September seventeenth. The pumpkin festival. Pumpkin, pumpkin fest in, that's in Smithfield, Smithfield High School. Smithfield yep. High School. We're going to look High for school. that, and uh, thank you so so much yeah, for coming here. Yeah, it's been great today. having you here, Bob. Yeah, thank it was, you. It was really? a very easy job interviewing you because you're a very outgoing guy, and you've got a lot of, lot of wonderful things to say and a lot of great experiences. I hope someday we can have you back again. Sure. You can yeah. tell us about some things that are up and coming. Um, Poppy, it's been great doing this with you today. Ron, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be a part of this today with Me you too. as well. So, yeah. as I, and I enjoyed great. it too. Yep. And for all of you who's out there, thank you so much for watching. I hope we get to see you again real soon. Until then, you can always find us at www.aidfoundation.org. Right.